بسم الله الرحيم today we will have case quiz number five case data sixty two years old male he is heavy smoker the main complaint is severe acute headache severe and acute headache the pain focuses over the temporal area and I think expert uh, rheumatologist may be sufficient here to diagnose the case. But we will continue. Musculoskeletal, shoulder arthralgia, hip arthralgia, no definite arthritis. So shoulder arthralgia with hip arthralgia but with no definite arthritis with bilateral knee osteoarthritis which may be uh, due to age general manifestations mild weight loss low grade fever pain and fatigue in the jaw when chewing food examination pulseless bilateral temporal arteries investigations Hemoglobin within normal, white disease within normal, platelet shows thrombocytosis, ESR high, CRB shooting, rheumatoid factor mildly positive, anti CCB negative, ANA negative, ANCA negative, ALT slightly elevated, the upper maximum is 40 and this is 43. AST within normal, alkaline phosphatase within normal, creatinine within normal, and finally HLA DR4 positive. So, what is the diagnosis? This case today is very simple for expert rheumatologists. But for the juniors, you can uh, stop here and uh, search for the answer. The answer is it's very simple today. I told you before that some cases will be so simple and some cases will be so difficult. So we, uh, we have varieties of cases. So this case is giant cell arteritis, GCA, giant cell arteritis. What is giant cell arteritis? The diagnosis is giant cell arteritis. This granulomatous vasculitis predominantly affects patients over the age of 50 years of age and leads to inflammation and the possible occlusion of the aorta and or its major branches. Cranial uh, CGA, GCA is the most frequently reported with a classical constellation of symptoms, many of which are evident in this case, such as headache, scalp tenderness, jaw claudication, visual disturbances, diplopia, amaurosis, fogas, or blindness and tissue necrosis for the scalp and tongue. In the current case, we have uh, jaw claudication and headache. If patients do experience uh, extracranial disease, the symptoms and sign will uh, correspond to the vascular territory involved. For example, mesenteric ischemia will generate postprandial abdominal pain, while iliac disease will lead to claudication. Many giant cell arthritis patients will have a history of polymyalgia rheumatica, complaining of bilateral shoulder and the pelvic girdle pain and stiffness. Although marked constitutional upset such as weight loss or fever tends only to occur in patients with GCA rather than uh, those with polymyalgia rheumatica alone. So, if you are uh, to differentiate between uh, Polymyalgia rheumatica alone or, or polymyalgia rheumatica with giant cell arthritis search for the constitutional symptoms. The patient's examination findings are classic for giant cell arthritis with tender pulseless temporal vessels. 
If the ciliary branches of the ophthalmic arteries are involved with visual symptoms in shoe and fundoscopy may reveal ischemic optic neuritis or even optic atrophy. Standard simple investigations reveal a non-specific inflammatory, inflammatory picture with elevated ESR and or CRB, thrombocytosis and the polyclonal hypergamma globulinemia. The investigation of a choice is temporal artery biopsy, demonstrating a granulomatous inflammation and a disrupted, uh, a disrupted internal elastic lamina, or less commonly a diffuse and rather less specific lymphocytic infiltrate. The drawback with biopsy uh, as the gold standard investigation is the presence of skip lesions due to patchy involvement of the vessel leading to difficulties with false negative result i mean uh, due to the skip lesion uh, I, I may take the biopsy from unaffected part and so the uh, result of the biopsy uh, examination under the microscope will show normal artery because the involvement is patchy take some areas of the artery and leave other areas uh, so uh, this is the only drawback of this uh, in other words a positive result uh, with the biopsy means uh, positive but negative does not exclude so the, the test is specific but not sensitive the diagnosis uh, hangs on the complete picture of clinical suspicion serological and histological abnormalities the treatment of GCA is high dose steroid 1 mg per kg and this should be commenced without delay in anyone uh, in whom the diagnosis is suspected. So if the case is suspected to have giant cell arthritis, the, uh, the strategy is to start the treatment even before the diagnosis is done because uh, some complications such as blindness and, uh, and infarction of the GIT may not wait you until you have a complete picture of the, for the diagnosis or uh, to wait for the result of biopsy for example. The early use of steroid is crucial to reduce the risk of, slight, of sight loss and will not uh, dramatically reduce the diagnostic yield of subsequent biopsy. All patients should receive bone protection with bisphosphonate and calcium or vitamin D supplementation and many will require gastroprotection in the form of proton bomb inhibitors during the treatment. If visual symptoms are present, there should be a closed li uh, 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 liaison with local ophthalmology services. In these cases, aspirin may provide additional benefit and in the rare instance of sudden total blindness, intravenous methyl prednisolone have been reported to restore vision if commenced within the first 24 hours. So pulse steroid may be uh, vision saving, 1 gram uh, for 3 days or 3, three to 5 days. Uh, patients should remain on high dose steroid until symptoms signs and laboratory indices of inflammation have subsided. This can often take several weeks and thereafter a, ver a very gradual reduction of steroid can commence. As with other conditions requiring long-term steroid therapy, methotrexate or other steroid bearing agents may prove beneficial. Cyclophosphamide is reserved for the minority of patients who fail to respond to steroid therapy. And finally, thank you very much for your attendance and we will meet you in the next time with case quiz number 6. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.